Oh, something's... Ah, yes. We got twins. What are you two doing in the attic? Oh, my lord. What would your mama have to say to you? Oh, shoot. You, you touched me. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I gotta get down here because I don't want to get shot. Yeah, there you go. Popped ya. You ought to be ashamed of yourself taking advantage. Oh, shoot. Damn it. He touched me. Don't you touch me? Yeah, shoot. I got too close. All right, we're back in. It is day two. When we last left off on day one, uh, basically we built this little structure here. I'm getting a little bit of lag right now too. But uh, we built this structure right here. Um, we put in a few ladders to get up to the top, added storage, and uh, well, we got killed by a boar because I fell off my little perch I was on trying to attack him with. So now today, um, basically it's about looting and skill tree. So this is about where we're at in the city. It looks like it's a pretty big city right here. We've got a main road right there. And our trader is right here next to us. That's uh, Trader Jen right there. So I guess we're going to go off and uh, let me up or not upgrade but repair my weapons here and i'll repair that okay so let's go in what maybe this house first check this out see how it goes oh i see some stuff down here oh book nice i'm gonna get this because i do want that um rotten flesh and the bones and sometimes it gives the nitrate there too so that's really good uh, this is kind of a medium-sized house, I guess. Yeah. Oh, we got we got the big guy. He's uh, pretty bloody there. Got into a bad bar fight, and he's still kind of stammering from the the alcohol. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, we need to get some new weapons kind of quick too, because. Uh, I like the spear because you can kind of hit him from a little farther away, but, oh, jeez, this is, you know, 99 hits and he <laughs> doesn't want to go down. All right. So pick up that rock. So I guarantee you there's going to be a zombie behind that door right there. And I need to be ready. Uh, I told you. That not hit him? Come on, sit down. What are you doing in the closet? Oh yeah, baby. Right in the head shot. Damn, nothing in there. Come on, we need some good loot. We need some good loot. Okay, we got bullets, but we don't have a gun yet. We'll need a gun soon. Oh, first. Usually there's nothing in a purse. Yeah, see? Uh, all these women leaving their purse around and they never have anything in it. Okay. We got some medical supplies down here. A trash bin that has some more wood. Convenient. Alright. Toilet's gonna have some dirty murky... Oh, no. No murky water? Ooh. Wow, I I do need the water and the cups or glass jars, whatever they're called. Uh, I do need that, so I will be keeping those. There's gonna be probably a couple zombies upstairs. Up, oh, that one came out from there. He's got a hoodie on. It must be cold out, or he's just you know a little crazy. But, I mean, he is kind of green, so maybe he is a little crazy, too. Nothing? Oh, come on. 
Ah, oh, yes, brass too. That's always nice to see that. Oh, come on, let's get that. Oh, well, okay, so we got another one of those uh, gloves. All right, let's carefully go upstairs. No, I... Oh, okay, lotion. Okay, you're telling me to go down that way. I'm telling you, I think it's a trap. But you do want me to go down there. You get nailed by 12 zombies, huh? Okay. I still want to take this part out. And I kind of want to try to jump up there and see uh, what's going on up on the roof. Because if somebody's having a party and they didn't invite me, I'm going to be a little upset. Oh, well, okay. That jump was not a jump. That was a pretty pansy jump there. Then let's open these. I'm getting a lot of ammo. Look at that. Look at all that ammo. It says, yeah, you know what? I want you to have ammo. And I said, yeah, thanks. I would love to have ammo. But you know what I'd also love to have is a freaking gun to go with that ammo. Yeah, see, look at She is down for the count on the ground. She couldn't even make it over to the bed. She drank so much that she just passed out right there. Poor lady. Poor lady. We're going to have to, um, we're going to have to help her up. See if we can help her up to her bed. Hi, honey. Hey, you coming at me so strong. Sweetie. Oh, dear. You lost your head, too. Well, um, don't blame me for that. Even though it technically is my fault, I suppose. This is the thing that I hate, um, is all oh, these freaking locked doors. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We got a bogey. Arlene, what are you doing in that bathroom? Well, I guess we know what you're doing in the bathroom, but Jesus. You weren't even taking a poo or anything. And see, the toilet was way over here. Okay, there we go. Hit, hit. Hit. Watch this douche. Doofus. Douches doofus. <laughs> yeah. We got Hoodie. That must be his uh, his uh, twin brother. Yellow shirt guy. He's been drinking a little too much too, I think. Everybody in this house has had a, a good party. I guess. So, oh, we, yeah. This is the area that we came in. That's right, huh? This is the house that we came, or the, the way we came through. Um, sometimes it's going to be a little confusing. Is there something up here? Oh, dear. Somebody just blew up a mine. I'm glad it wasn't me. And it took care of him, too. And Oh, yeah. We got to watch out. There's a mine. Oh, we got a guy. Look at that. Look at that right there. Man, he couldn't even make it to the bedroom either. He is so passed out. Oh, and they opened the door right here? Because that door wasn't open before. Hey, bud. Yellow shirt, kid. This house party is officially over. Go back home. Matter of fact, you know what? Give me, give me the phone number of your parents and I'll call them and let you know what you've been up to. We're going to need some, uh, aren't it? No, we need some grill stuff for our campfire. Well, we need food too. That's good. Oh, look at that. We got a honey knife schematic. Yes. Use. Come on. Uh, we're just getting canned. We're getting canned. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Give me a crock pot. No. This game hates me, doesn't it? Oh, this game so hates me. 
Oh, nice. A wrench. I really do need right. that too. Watch out for landmines. Oh. Yeah, what you doing hiding up there, buddy? I told you guys, the party is over. You guys just don't know. Don't know when to quit, do you? You done? Don't throw up on the carpet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is this is nice. We got a safe here, but we only have four um what do you call it? Lock picks. So we have to be really careful. We're gonna have to go back home so we can uh we can unload some of this stuff. I bet you anything this is gonna take more than the four lock picks. If I had an auger, I could just, you know, blow right through it with the auger. Oh, come on. Is it gonna... Oh, damn. That is so close. That was so... Mm, yeah. That second one. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Oh! Don't do me wrong. Don't do me wrong. Come on, safe. Come on. No whammy. Big bucks. Damn it. Okay, I hate you, safe. I hate you. I have no more lockpicks. Alright, so I guess we'll talk about the skill tree while it's night time, and there's not really much else that we can do right now. Uh, so, we've got some points. If you open up the inventory and we go to this little skills thing, we've got six points uh, that we can put into anything in any one of these uh, different skill trees. So, like perception, strength, fortitude, agility, intellect, and that dog's getting, or wolf, is it? Whatever it is, it's getting really close. So what I could do is I could put uh, like a point to maybe a shotgun or something and then I'd be able to craft a shotgun or a pistol. Um, what kind of ammo do I have the most of right now? I have, uh, okay, 88, 9 millimeter, 56. Yeah, so I don't have a whole lot of either. Um, and it will take, oh man, yeah. He's, he's been aggroed. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Don't be tearing apart my house. Oh! Did, wait, did he die? I think he did. Oh, no, he didn't. He's just tricking me. You see that? The little stinker is tricking me. Oh, come on, come on out, come on out. Take way too many arrows. Way too many arrows. There we go. Come on, let me go down. Collect all my arrows. Oh, I can't collect them. Come on. Come on. We'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll get some uh, rotten flesh. Um, okay, skill, so skill tree. Um, lucky looter is kind of all right to have. Um, if you have a uh, archery, so the arrow or... Um, you know, some guns, firearms, and stuff. Uh, Penetrator, uh, that's a nice one to have. Honestly, for me personally, um, I felt lock picking and animal tracker was a waste, especially if you have an auger. Uh, this is really a waste. Maybe, maybe one point in or something, um, possibly two in the very beginning, but if you are able to get an auger early on then uh and you haven't spent any points on lock picking i would not bother the salvage treasure hunter uh, stuff junk collector that's going to give you your wrench if you haven't gotten your um, any wrenches yet 
uh, from in game. Like I happen to get this one, but this will end up breaking, and I'll need a repair kit in order to repair it soon. Um, this is pretty nice to have. Uh, early on, uh, I like to go for something that's Master Chef, and also um, wait, where's the living off the land right here? So under Fortitude, living off the land because. Uh, I believe that eating is really important in the game. So when you can uh, craft your crops and the uh, plant, um, the more that you can do that, the more you can make better foods and your stamina and your health will uh, increase and you have better chances of staying alive. So I like living off the land and the master chef. Um, you don't really need to go all the way with the master chef, honestly. Um, you in my other save that I have, I was able to find, I believe, everything but one of Grandpa's recipes. So everything else I found without um, really getting too much into this at all. But I did put uh, a few points in uh, because I needed uh, a few of the recipes here. So uh, personally, like I said, for me, that is a good one to do, Master Chef, and living off the the land, uh, sexual. Tyrannosaurus, um, I guess, you know, it could be good. Reduce melee and tool stamina usage by 8% and power attacks by 15. Uh, maybe, you know, a few points into that or whatnot. Um, another one under agility here, parkour is a really nice one to have as well. Uh, if you can get this leveled all the way up to uh, four, which requires agility level eight. Um, this will give you extra high um, jumping and you won't ever break a leg. And it's really nice to have this. Um, I think this is a really, uh, uh, a really, really good one to invest into as well. Um, aside from, you know, any other type of weapons, I'm not really going to go over the weapons because that's kind of more geared individually towards each player. Some people like uh, bows. Other people like pistols. Other people like shotguns. Uh, so I'm not really going to go too much into that. It's That's kind of a personal preference. Um, even, you know, like knives and stuff like that, too. Um, aside from that, also, uh, the nice ones to go into. Physician, Advanced Engineering, Grease Monkey. Um, I usually put some points into these. Especially Physician. This one, because you're going to need the... Um, chemistry station so uh once you go into physician and you do intern then you will be able to craft a chemistry station as long as you have the materials for it and this is really important but unfortunately this one requires intellect level three and so that means that you have to unlock this unlock this unlock that so that's going to take two more skill points here and then you go down to physician and then you would have to take a skill point for this so that would be four skill points just to unlock this one in turn. Um, so that's kind of how that works. All right. Nice. It's morning already. Great. Um, and physician also. So you see, like, I have an infection and things like this would be really great because you can do first aid bandages and first aid kits and stuff. As long as you have all the materials to be able to craft that stuff, you can craft it. Um, so... Again, physician chemistry uh, station is very good to have. Grease monkey, um, you can craft like a bicycle so you can get around earlier. Uh, it's nice to have in early game. It will use stamina if you hit the shift button to ride faster, but it helps out um, overall for traveling all around because um, it's just you know a little bit faster than actually walking and or running and using the stamina for that. This one is a pretty nice one to do as well. And then, like I said, uh, advanced engineering right here. You're a blacksmith. You're able to uh, forge iron and other material objects, craft forges and craft items with them 20% uh, faster. You need this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this right now because I need the forge. So this is for sure one that I want to do, advanced engineering. So I think that's all I'm going to go through with the skill tree right now. 
So I think uh, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. So thank you guys so much for coming out to episode two of Seven Days to Die. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like, you know, do all that other fun stuff that like everybody else says on their YouTube channels. I'd appreciate it. You know, like, sub, follow, share, whatever. <laughs> um, and if you want to watch us play this game live on stream, we do stream over on Twitch often. Uh, sometimes we stream this game. Sometimes we stream other games. I do play Infected. Uh, I'm going to try to get into Valheim a little bit more. And um, I play some other games that are not survival type of games as well. But uh, I promise you, you'll have some sort of fun if you stick around and watch over there. Until next time, I hope you guys stay safe, be careful, and have fun.